if I had one of these and anything went on it, that's it. Just push it in a lake. Welcome back to Next Level Rides. In today's episode, we're going to be installing a JB4 into my buddy's 550i. It's going to be pretty sweet. Claims about 100 wheel horsepower and probably a bit more torque. So stay tuned. Let's get at it. Okay, so we've installed many JB4s before. So this one here comes with the, uh, looks like they've upgraded the plastic casing. So looks like it's only going to be a couple of connectors. This one looks like a T-map connector, something else connector, and an OBD. So pretty simple. We'll get to it. I really don't think this is going to take too, too long, but knock on wood, that's bit me in the ass before. All right. All right. So we're going to start with taking out these pipes. So what we're aiming for is the T-map sensor here. So we have one over here in front of the intercooler and another one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the good old pick probably on the backside, I think. And I'll pick those out and we'll get the two connectors on. So it looks like the two connectors here. I kind of thought they were both T-map. So you can see T-map, other T-map, of course, I'll confirm because the coloring is different. Yeah, there's one connector out. Bam! Let's do the other one. Almost there. Yes! All right. So I'm just going to dig this one out. There we go. So you got the two of them. Maybe we'll sneak it around here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll sneak it right under that rubber and under the harness and everything. Okay, so it's a good thing we did pull that off. All right, let's try and make this look good. All right, dielectric grease. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck this away and make it look all nice, but it shows you right here. So you connect the one side into the T-map and then the original T-map connector here. So we'll tuck it away zip tight so it doesn't end up touching any heat or anything. And same thing on the opposite side. So the coloring was literally just to designate which side of the engine, but I mean, if that one's short and this one's long and they don't reach, kind of have to use your brain a little bit. So, all right. Now we'll get to starting on the, putting it in through the firewall. All right. So what we're going to do is this grommet right here. So this grommet way, way, way down here. I guess this one you can end up popping out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pick it out and go from there. So it pops out. Gotta get the snake tape. So under here, we have a uh, Torx here, Torx over here. So we're gonna take the Torx out and then we'll be able to take this plate out. So don't learn the hard way. When you're gonna take this plastic plate out, the airbag actually has to come out to disconnect that connector. So do yourself a favor, disconnect the battery and not have it blow up in your face. <laughs> As I'm tapping a landmine. So you pull down the airbag to get it out of the way. I disconnected the negative terminal just to make sure. Then you have the connector right up here. Pull this down and then you realize you didn't have to do any of this because if you take this out, there's a big opening here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna find out exactly where it's from and where it came through. And I'm gonna pull it through. We're gonna connect it to the OBD and then all of this is gonna go back. So after you get the plate back on and you get the airbag in, just be sure there's four tabs. So slide it in before you pop the pop clips in. So here you can actually see where the wire came from right back there. And underneath, that shows you, that's where it's connected. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna zip tie this up and then put the coin thing back in. And there's gonna be two torque screws and then we'll finish in the engine bay. Okay, so you can see, right, we ended up pulling it through. So we're gonna tuck this away all nice and we're gonna be good to go. All right, so let's cut this nice without cutting the connector. Gently cut towards your friend, not yourself. Or I think the saying is cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Okay, so. So these only clip in one way. I'm gonna, oh yeah, there it is. Clip. Let's see where I can hide this. Hmm. So I'm trying to think of a nice place to put this, but there really isn't a nice place. No. Like there's this little thing here. So what I was thinking is wedging it right. All like, between the booster. See, there. And it's stuck? Yeah. There you go. Actually, yeah, it's literally snug. And then everything can just kind of sit here and cover goes on top. You can see where we wedged the JB4. So right there, it's snug right against a plastic nut. Um, is a little bit ghetto, kind of, I guess. But you know what? It's up and out of the way as I drop my light. The wiring is there, so wiring doesn't really change a whole lot. But there's a cover that ends up sitting right over top, so we'll replace that and I'll show you what it looks like. See, BMW does some weird stuff. They have this bar and they're like, let's just make these clips. So it hugs the bar. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but breaks then you're gonna have to get a piece in. Could you imagine how expensive that would be? Oh, Nothing is cheap with it. No. Like if anything, if I had one of these and anything went on it, that's it. Push it in a lake. Yeah. It's done. Alright, snug. Snug. Yeah, so now we can put the negative back on the terminal and hope the airbag doesn't go off. Well, I don't hear an explosion, so I think we're good. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty easy. After you put the two bars back, you'll end up seeing again right in here, the one T-map connector. We routed it just with the hose to the other T-map, and then it's underneath here. So it's tucked underneath, under here, under the rubber grommet. The JB4 again sits just over here, and then the one OBD goes just inside. Easy. Okay, so there you have it. Starts up. No check engine lights, no air codes, no nothing. Nice interior. Nice. Sounds pretty good. So it has catalyst downpipes and uh, muffler delete. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, I'll keep trying to bring you a little bit more BMW content because it seems to be what everyone likes and hey, I have a few of them and maybe I'll get another. So stay tuned, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.